Today, I'm gonna to show you how to build a Wix website from scratch in under 10 minutes. Let's get started. Now, before we get started, I do have a link to go to Wix.com in the description below to set up your own account so that you can have access to all of these features. There is a free version, but that there's also a paid version, which gives you your own domain as well as removes the Wix advertising from there. But you can be able to build the website and set everything up and do all the work that I'm about to show you all within the free account just to get you started. So when you first get signed into your account, you're gonna see a dashboard like this and you just wanna click up next to your websites here. You can see some, some of my past websites. And we're just gonna click on create a new site. Now I'm gonna show you how to utilize some of the AI tools that are built right into Wix to make this process even easier. It's gonna come up with this window and you can either start a chat or you can set up without a chat. We're gonna go with the chat, okay? And it's gonna ask me, tell me what your site is about. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a site for my YouTube channel to get people to go to my, my YouTube channel. So attracting new viewers to my YouTube channel about reviewing cartoons from the 90s and 2000s. And then based on that answer, it's gonna ask me something else. What's the name of your YouTube channel? It is my name. But the subtitle is the main goal, I would say gaining subscribers. And you see over here, it's giving you a site profile of what is being loaded into this. What is your unique selling point that sets you apart from other cartoon review channels? Okay, I am a true fan that drew, grew up on these cartoons. And then it says you're all set. So then we will go to the dashboard, preparing your dashboard. So you see just by answering a few questions, it starts building out the best version of the dashboard utilizing the tools that I need for my website based on what I answered the questions around. Now we could connect a domain here if we already have one or if we wanna get one, I'm gonna skip that for now. You can still build a full website with the free version. We can write blog posts, which we're gonna skip for now, but we're gonna jump into design site. And this checklist is all accessible over here in the setup options. So at any time, if you get lost in what you need to do next, you can always go and see where, where you're at, okay? So we're gonna go to design site. Now there's two kind of options for designing the site. You can either pick your own template or we can use generate a design with AI, which is what we're gonna do for today's example. I'm gonna go generate as a design. And what it's doing is it's, it's gonna create a customized template for my page rather than using one of the, the already established template. And just like that, they've built this ideal template for me. Let's tweak the design. Now what they came up with was pretty good and I really think I could jump into that, but we're gonna tweak it just a little bit, okay? And there you go. So now it's a little bit different and, and let's say we, we wanna go with this, but you could regenerate the design, you could tweak the design, you can continue to re really fine tune it as best you want, but we're gonna go with this one. Once again, they have where you could complete the setup with your domain, which I'm not gonna do just yet. And we're gonna click on continue to the editor. And this will be the interface where you will be customizing all the elements to your page. And I'm gonna show you a couple of things real quick here. So just a little bit about the navigation here. Up at the top, you have the pages that you're on. So we have the homepage blog and you can customize these. We'll get into that. We can switch the view from desktop to mobile. So it's important to also look at the mobile version so that you know what that looks like uh, as you're designing through there. You have your domain, and of course you can save it here. You can preview it to make sure it looks the way you want within the web interface, and then you can publish it. You can save it as many times as you want, but until you publish it, that's the version that will go out online. Over here on the left-hand side, you have the different elements. You can add elements here pictures, text, graphics, lines, boxes, links, all of that sort of thing. And then the sections, the sections are how your page is broke up. So we have kind of this open section and then we have our latest blogs there. And then we have another section here to be able to add elements and so on. So you can add sections to the website or you can move them around however you want them to go. Of course, you can add and take away pages. So let's say you, we don't want the portfolio part of the site and we could just change that out and we could go hide from the menu. So now it's only gonna show the homepage and the blog. I wanna keep it kind of simple because all I'm really trying to do is get people to my YouTube channel. 
All right, so let's get into customizing this. So we're gonna take this home page here. So this is broke up into two different columns. We could change the text here. All right, so we wanna edit this. So what I wanna do is I wanna just take this picture out and I wanna add my own. So we're gonna go up to add elements, image, upload an image, and we're gonna to go to my computer. I'm just gonna navigate and find the picture that I want for this. We just find what we want here. Let's say we want this logo and we'll open that up. Once it imports, we can add to page. And there we go. Now you can see, I can't really see the, the font. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on change background and we could click on some of these images if we wanted to do that. But I think what I wanna do is I just wanna get a color and I kind of like that right there. So you can see the text that we want. So we'll just click on that. And then you can see this is already starting to look like my own page. So now we can move this up and we can move this up. All right, so this button here that they've already included is very key. This is what people are gonna click on to go to my YouTube channel. So we're gonna click on that. Then we're gonna go to change text and watch now is fine, but we wanna change the link to go to a web address. And then I'm gonna go up to my YouTube channel and I'm just gonna copy that. And we're gonna go back over here and we're gonna paste that. And now when they click on that, it'll take them to my YouTube channel. Okay, click done, go out of there. And now this is really starting to shape up, okay? So then we're gonna go down here, we got blogs, which I don't have those created just yet. And they have some sort of generic blogs that it is, has created in here. And then we have this section to play video. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna embed some videos from my YouTube channel into there. So I want this to be just one step up higher. So what I want is for it to go from this kind of open, this welcome part, and I wanna move the blogs down. So we'll just go move section down so that this section is next. So while we're on there, we're gonna to go to quick edit and we wanna manage the videos here. So from here, you can upload videos from your computer. But in my case, I wanna show people what's on my YouTube channel. So we're just gonna go over back to our YouTube channel, I'm gonna find a playlist here, let's say Batman Beyond, and then you click on share, you copy that link, and then we bring that over and we paste that. And you see there's 12 videos there. You go next. You can either add the videos or add the feed. I'm gonna add the videos so that we can see the individuals here. And there's all the videos from that playlist here. And you can make adjustments. You can change the title, whatever you want there. So we're just gonna close out of that. And so now what we could do is we wanna change the settings here. Now that we have the videos added and we could have a single video or we could have a channel. And so here, we just wanna pick one of these videos. Maybe it's our best one. And then we go add, okay? And so now you can see it took that layout and now we have the thumbnail of that image right there. And that's our, our video and then they can click on that and play that. And you could add multiple videos or swap the videos out, whatever you wanna do there. And then they have a follow us section here, which is, it doesn't apply to us. We don't have an Instagram section. So all I'm gonna do is just delete that. We're just gonna click on the three little buttons there and go delete. And then that's done. And then we can go down here. We could update our contact information. And again, any text block that you see, you can just double click on it, change the text out, however you want. And then, once you have that all adjusted the way you want it, so I got a link here to go directly to the YouTube channel, got a featured video here, then what I will do is I'll go up to preview and I'll take a look at this from the web interface. So this is what it looks like from the web. And then we can also preview that from the phone and you can see everything there. You can see we're having trouble seeing that. That background is still a lighter color. So let us go back to the editor. We just gotta find that background. So we'll click here and we wanna change that background as well. And we'll just make it a darker color just so we have a different option there. Close that out. Now, when we go to the mobile view, see with that darker background, now that shows up well. So we can go back to the preview, look at it exactly how it's gonna look like on the phone. 
and we go that looks all good and then we just click on publish and once you click on publish that's what goes live onto the website and here is the current web address it's a little long a little complicated but again, if you just click the link in the description below, you can be able to sign up for a new account and it'll give you your own unique domain name and also uh, removing the advertisements of Wix down below there. Okay, and you click done. And just like that, you have a brand new website up and running that's fully customizable, has everything you need all within Wix. I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one.